Hey everybody, this is Georgiana with Expressions Craft Studio. Um, I am here today to give you a little tip uh, on one of the ways that I handle some of my freebies in particular, the freebies that I get from Scrapbooking With Me Crafts. Um, the only stipulation they have for their beautiful freebies is that you subscribe to their YouTube channel and I think that's more than reasonable because they make some absolutely gorgeous stuff. So I will include the link for their YouTube in the um, description below as well as the link for uh, the page with the freebies on it and let me enlarge that so what we're going to do is um, once you subscribe to their channel and you go to their freebies for downloads they'll have a list of them that you can download if you like them this current one uh, the newest one I should say mushroom journal cards you're just going to click this download button here and it's going to download it to your to your hard drive or wherever you like to store your files maybe you have a a separate external storage or maybe you use something else but whatever you use you're going to it's going to download there for you uh, you may have to direct it but it will work and then once you get it, it's going to be a PDF. Now, if you're somebody who likes to print your images and then cut them out, fussy cut, that's great. That's that's all you need to do. But for those of us who actually don't like fussy cutting, I have a different alternative. And let me show you what I like to do I after I've downloaded them. And here they are. Here are a few in my downloads folder. Um, you can see they're all PDF files. Um, for me, the easiest way to turn them into a PNG, which means they have no background, or a JPEG, or whatever you want to turn them into. Um, I like PNGs um, because they'll work with my design space, which is for my Cricut Explorer. They'll work with a lot of other craft cutting machines. And um, they'll work with most of your photo editing or graphic editing software. They are a little bit larger than JPEGs, but PNGs is the only option I have when I work with Inkscape. And Inkscape is free to download. It's fairly easy to learn to use, um, especially if you're just doing a few simple tasks with it here and there. So this is Inkscape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up under File, and I'm going to Import my file. There's import clip art at import. I'm just using import. Uh, then I'm going to go out here. It's already set to or directed to go to my downloads folder, which is where I download everything to just for uh, my sake for to make it easy on myself because my memory is not what it used to be. And so this just makes it easier for me. So I just like to start at the top and work my way down. And this is the floral freebie. I'm going to double click it. Now you can see it says this is page one of two. You can use this little arrow here and it will scroll up to the next page. And you can choose which of the pages you want to download. You may not want to download them all. I'm going to, but you don't have to. So then you have a choice between Poplar, Cairo import and internal import. It defaults in my case to internal import and that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, I don't really mess with these two options. I haven't had to yet. And this one, you can increase the size of your folder. It's like telling a photo that you want to print out if you want better quality or lesser quality. But the larger you make that to very fine, the bigger your file is going to be. And so that may not be optimal for you depending on, you know, your given hardware. Um, so I think that was a two. We'll just, we'll just bump it up a little bit. So then I'm going to click OK. So then sometimes it takes a minute, but it will bring it in. And you can tell it's a PNG and the background's been removed because you can see the outline of the page that defaults in my Inkscape when I open it up. So I just like to center it um, because I have had instances where things that were outside of the page didn't actually save. That was probably something I did wrong, but just to be safe and not to have to go back and double check every single thing I do. Uh, I just like to make sure it's centered. So then you have a couple options here. You can save it as a um, PNG file if you want, I believe. But what I like to do is I actually like to export it because then it automatically exports it as a PNG. So then you can go up under File. You're going to export the PNG image. And it opens this window over here. Now the only thing 
I do is click down or export because I can see right here where it's exporting it to. It's to my downloads folder. Now you can go ahead and change the name of it here, but with these PDFs that have multiple pages, I find it just easier to wait. So I just do that for all of them because again, I like to be consistent. Otherwise I tend to skip steps um, and just, you know, increase my frustration level and nobody needs that for anybody. You know, that's just, that's not good for any of us. So I'm just going to hit export. And then I just go ahead and delete this because I know it worked. I'm going to go back over to uh, Windows Explorer. And you can see it's added this file down here. Now, I don't know where this naming convention comes from. And I don't really care. I'm going to um, rename it anyway. But first, before I forget, I do want to download page two. So I have to go in and file import. And this time I want to, I want to select the same file. And then I want to scroll to get to page two. And then I'm going to say OK. And again, I'm going to just kind of center it up on the background there. And then I'm going to export it, which you can go File, Export, or you can do Shift, Control, E. So you export it, and then you come over here and export it. And then I delete it. I go back here. I'm going to delete that because I see both of those files are there or pages if that if you prefer since there are two pages in this PD, PDF. Sorry, stumbling over my words. So now to rename it because there's more than one page or file, essentially it's a file, uh, I highlight both by clicking on the first one and then holding my shift key down and I just arrow down to the second one. Then with the cursor inside the highlighted area, I right click and I click on rename. And I forgot what this file was called. Um, wow, that wasn't very smart. I, yeah. Okay, well, don't do that. Don't delete the file before you name it. Um, I'm going to, you know what I can do, though? I'm going to open it up and look at it, and then I'll just pick a name. Okay, so it's a floral background. Uh, so that's what I'll do. I'll just name it. Let's Let's see what am I doing wrong here? Okay, so I'll just rename that to floral background. Um, I'm going to say border on the end of it just because I probably have a file named floral background. So I want to make sure it's um, distinguished from that. Okay, so there we go. So let's do another one since I kind of messed that one up and I don't want to add to anybody's confusion. So we're going to go back into Inkscape and Control I is the file and import. I'm going to go into Freebie 325 and I see it's also got two pages. So I'm going to go back to page one and I'm going to hit OK. Just center it up a little bit, and then I'm going to shift control e to export, or you can go file export, whichever is easier for you, and click on the export button. Then I'm going to delete this. This was page one, and I'm going to do control I to import the second page. Say OK. Center that up just a little bit, and then I'm going to do shift control e to export it and i'm just going to click export and then i can delete that and then i'm going to go back out here and this one was just called three freebie 325 so um, i bounce back and forth between how i choose to name files and the reason is sometimes the names like this one freebie 325 doesn't make a lot of sense to me i'm like i don't know what that is but the other and sometimes you need to just because they're vague enough that they may have already been used. Like if you're downloading files from some of the um, like subscription services, the, each file within the folder might be ping one, ping two, ping three, or whatever. So, you know, if you do that a couple of times, you've got all these file names that are duplicates. So that's another neat reason to rename them. Um, so I'm going to rename this. And I'm going to call it, I am going to call it freebie because this also helps me know that I've, it helps me recognize it if I see it again in the future, maybe, so that I don't download it again. Uh, freebie 325, and I'm going to put um, 
tags because I know I remember that there were tags in it. When I told you my memory was bad, I wasn't kidding. All right, so now I'm going to go up here and delete this one. And let's do one more and then we'll wrap this up. So we're going to do file, import. We're going to go to freebie 1216. There is only one page on there, so that's good. We're going to say OK. We're going to kind of move it to the center. And I'm going to do shift control E to export it. I'm going to export. And this is kind of a blue damask tags and ephemera. So that's probably what I'm going to name it since I actually paid attention that time. Uh, rename. You know what? I will call it freebie 1216 in the beginning just so it's, you know, again, duplication efforts. To minimize those and then it was blue damask ephemera always have to stop and pause on that word and then i can delete the top one so that's all you do if we change this to icons or let's go large icons you can see that here are the various ones we just saved so um, you can open them up and look at them if you want, or you can open them up in your um, editing software. And uh, then you can either cut and paste them onto digital artwork, which is another thing I like to do, or you can import them, like I said, into your uh, cutting software. In my case, it's Design Space because I use a Cricut, but there are other products out there that are available as well. Um, so I hope this helps somebody. Um, this really is just geared toward uh, the PC people. Um, I don't work with Apple or Mac products. I don't even know what they call themselves anymore. But um, I'm sure there's a video out there for you guys as well. So I hope this helps. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions or comments, just let me know.